statistics and excel deck of cards statistics and excel get ready taking a deep breath holding it in for 10 seconds looking forward to a smooth soothing excel here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below, example, practice blank, example, in essence, answer key, practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can go right to the heart of the practice problem, the blank tab being blank so we can practice formatting the cells in Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's take a look at the example tab to get an idea of where we will be going. So in a prior presentation, we talked about some statistics related to a coin flip, which is a great start, but oftentimes people say, hey, look, that's a little too simplified because you only have two outcomes of a head and a tail. So let's take a look at another example with a deck of cards and we'll practice mapping out the deck of cards, seeing how many cards are in the deck and how they are labeled, and then thinking about how we can assign possibly a number to each card so we can use our Excel tools in order to have a random sample, try to simulate a random selection of a card in a deck of cards, for example, and then analyze the outcome with some of our statistical tools, including making uh, some charts and whatnot from the data that we get. All right, let's go on over to the blank tab and just build this from a blank tab. I'm gonna hold down control, scroll up a bit. Uh, we're currently at the 280, or I am at least. I'm gonna select the triangle up top, formatting the entire worksheet like we do every time, right clicking on the cells to format. And then we're gonna go down, let's go to the currency, negative numbers bracketed and uh, red. And then I don't need any dollar signs for my particular problem. So I'm going to remove, well, I don't need the dollar sign. I'm going to remove the decimals, which I don't need for my particular problem. So let's remove those as well. So let, let's first just think about the deck of cards. Now, oftentimes when we're trying to use our analytical skills in Excel, we have to kind of do some conversion uh, to numbers so we can do a, a, some numerical calculations. So let's think about the cards in a deck of cards first. So so we'll say, okay, if there's a deck of cards, we know that there's a one through a 10, and then, then there's a jack, queen, and a king, and the one is an ace, an ace or a one. So I can say, all right, if I have a deck of cards, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select the whole thing again, go to the home tab, font group, and bold the whole thing. And then I'm gonna wrap the text on this cell. So I'm gonna go to the Home tab, Alignment, Wrap the Text, and Center it. So I know if I just list out my deck of cards, I've got one, two, three, four. I can select those. I can copy it down to 10. Uh, copy it down to 10. And then, and then I've got the Jack, Queen, and King which I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna continue my numbering and copy that down and just label them as uh, 11, 12, 13. Now, again, depending on what you're doing, this is a, a useful tool if you're trying to kind of count the cards, right? So you might try to assign a number to each of the cards, even though three of the cards don't have an actual number uh, to them that could be useful for calculations and assigning which card is what, especially when you're in something like Excel. But it doesn't stop there because then we have we have the suits of the card. We've got spades, we've got hearts, we've got diamonds, we've got clubs, and then the total. So if we think about each of these cards, there's for aces or ones, there's one spade, one heart, one diamond, one club. So we have a total number of aces, sum function equals the sum of these four. So summing up those four, we're just building a little table. And then clearly that's the same all the way down, right? There's one, 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 one number twos of spades hearts, diamonds, clubs, these are not in any particular order. So I'm just making up an order of the suits. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, all right, we sum that up. I can copy these ones all the way down because there's gonna be one of each suit 
of each card. So I'm just going to copy and paste that down, and then I can copy my totals down. I'm going to put my cursor on the fill handle and just copy that down. So there we have it. So, so then I can have my totals down here. The total on down below is going to be, if I, if I sum this up, equals the sum of these. I'm holding shift and scrolling up. Let's do that again just so you can, I can do this. The sum, the trusty sum function, S-U-M, favorite function, shift nine, up arrow. I'm doing it just with the keyboard. And then I'm holding down uh, shift with the up arrow. Just one at a time because it's, it's, I don't need to like jump up there because it's not that far up. Once we have that, then of course we can copy it across, putting my cursor on the fill handle and dragging across. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the end and 52 then, is the total number of cards in the deck. So I can sum it up this way, or I can sum it up this way, right? Come up to 52 either way. So we've kind of listed out our, our, our deck of cards. Let's go ahead and format this thing. Our typical formatting for the headers is gonna be black and white. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab and I'm gonna to go to the fonts and make this black and then white on the text. And then I'll typically make the middle bit blue, the middle bit blue. So we'll make that blue. Home tab, font group, dropping it down on the borders. Let's make the borders first. And then I'll go to the blue bucket. If you don't have that blue, it's in the more colors over here. And then blue and the standard blue, boom. And then the bottom, maybe I'll make that uh, dark blue. Home tab, font. I'll make this dark blue and then the font white just so it can stand out down there. Let's put some borders around it too. Borders, you gotta separate all the cells need to be in their own place. Just like, just like the potatoes and the peas do not mix together on the plate or they will not be eaten. All right, so then we're gonna, we could, are gonna make it a little bit thinner too. It's a little it's a little wide i'm not trying to be offensive to the cells but they're a little wider than uh than is healthy for them to be okay so all right so there's our so there's just our our our, our numbers now now what if we were if we were to try to look at a deck and we're trying to think about well what if i what's my odds of drawing you know any of these any one card out of the deck so so the let's make a skinny h here so the odds of any card you would think would would be put a colon let's make the i a little bit larger so we could do a, a calculation of it uh the odds of any card would just simply be the number you know one card out of how many cards there are we know that there are equal to let's say equal to 52 in the deck so the odds of any one card per draw would be equal to 1 over 52 that would be a little bit of our statistics that's what we would expect now i'm going to make that a percent home tab numbers let's percentify that let's add some decimals so there we have that. So so we could say, okay, what are the odds of a, any suit? Is that how you spell suit for cards? I think that's like a, a, a business suit. I think they're the same though. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So there's only four, there's an even amount of each suit. So there's 13 cards of each suit. So then we could say, so cards per suit are equal to, I'll just point to this 13 down here, out of total cards. So let's just call this one card out of cards in deck. And then I can copy that here. I'll say this equals cards in deck and this equals 52. So I know I'm doing this fast, but we've 